Hey kids, let's have some fun today. Let's start with a song. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it. I'm so glad that Jesus loves everyone. Let's have a little fun celebrating his love with another song.
<laughs> hey, I'm Decker, and I'm a deep sea dwelling decorator crab. Now, just because I'm a crab doesn't mean I'm grouchy. I totally dig the way God made me. Would you look at that? I decorate my shell with some of God's other cool creations, like seaweed or sea sponges. My decorations don't just make me look good either. These awesome accessories help me blend into my surroundings so I stay safe from other animals that may want to turn me into a snack. Let me tell you a little bit about some of my other crabby friends. My friends, the spider crabs, they get creative too. They stick sea anemones on their shells to sting predators that may want to have spider crab for dinner. <laughs> gotcha! And get this, my Japanese spider crab friends can grow to 13 feet across. They're the largest crab in the world. I bet that's bigger than any person you've ever met. I love how God made us crabs, but I'm really impressed with how God made you. You people have fingers and toes and ears and all that weird stuff called hair. God even put something inside your heart called love. Big or small, short or tall, people are all important to God. One time in the Bible, some parents brought their kids to meet Jesus, and Jesus' friends didn't like it. But Jesus told his friends, let the little children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. Jesus loves everyone, especially kids. That's because you can show adults what Jesus' love is like. In the Bible, book of John, chapter 13, verse 34, it says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love each other. <laughs> so, lead the way, kids. You show the world what God's kingdom is like. You tell the truth and encourage people when they're bummed out. You work hard even when it's tough. You create masterpieces that bring a smile to someone's face. So forget about blending in with the crowd or doing great things for Jesus someday. You matter right now. I'm a unique part of God's creation. I show God's creativity and attention to detail. And you're even more special. You're God's extra special creation. You can show the world what God is like. You're an important part of God's family. Jesus said it, so it's true. So go ahead. Keep showing people in your world, Jesus loves everyone. Decker the Decorator Crab is our Bible memory buddy. How much do you know about decorator crabs? Let's find out with a this or that challenge. You'll hear two fun facts about crabs, and it's up to you to decide which one is true. Do decorator crabs attach starfish or sea sponges to their shells? They attach cool creations like sea sponges to their shells. The Bible is God's true story of love. It is a book that's been helping people grow closer to God for thousands of years, and it can help us today. Our Bible memory verse is John 13, 34. Let's say that verse together. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you, and you should love each other. John 13, 34. I love that God's word helps us know how to live in love. And I am so glad to know that Jesus loves everyone. His love will never give up on us. Let's celebrate with a song. Here's what the Bible says happened on one particular day. 
Luke 18, 15. People were also bringing babies to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. When the disciples saw this, they rebuked them. The Bible says that the disciples scold the parents for bothering Jesus. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was upset with his friends. Listen to what Jesus had to say. Luke 18, verses 16 to 17. But Jesus called the children to him and said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Jesus loves everyone, and Jesus is always paying attention to us. He cares about us all the time. Remember, Jesus is always paying attention to you. Jesus knows everything that happens to you. He always cares and he always loves you.